it's Julie Davison from juliedavison.com. Welcome to the great big card swap. I'm going to try to adjust my camera just a little bit here. I think this is going to be better. I'm so happy you're joining me today. This theme is amazing. And you guys knocked it out of the park. The theme for the Great Big Card Swap for August 2023 is Fun Folds. And I have over 65 cards to share with you tonight that I know are going to inspire you so much. Fun folds are my favorite and I especially want, love ones that are easy and just make the card extra special. So be sure to leave lots of comments for all of our swappers. Let them know how much you love their cards and let us know which one is your favorite. If you haven't watched before, welcome. We're so excited that you are joining us. The Great Big Card Swap is a monthly card swap for everyone, whether you're um, a demonstrator, not a demonstrator, if you use Stampin' Up! products, or if you don't, if you use retired Stampin' Up! products, it doesn't matter. You can use whatever paper crafting products you have to make a card and send it in. I share all of the cards that I receive, and then I mix them up and send them back out. So everyone who sends a card gets one in return. It really is that simple, and it is just so much fun. If you've never gotten a happy mail, if you've never gotten a handmade card in the mail, despite how many you've sent yourself, then I hope that you will consider participating. Um, I do limit it to one card per person per month. Um, you can send a postage stamp, please. No envelopes. Um, it's easier for me to sort the cards and use my own envelopes. So please just put your loose postage stamp inside. Um, if you are an international stamper, I have a PayPal link in the video description so you can participate and get some international postage stamps to use. Um, so that I can return your card. That's the easiest and the best way um, for me to handle it. So um, please check that out. I'm so glad that you are joining tonight. Um, if you're sending cards for August, we've got a showcase on the second and the fourth Tuesday of every month. So our next video showcase for August is going to be in two weeks on Tuesday, August 22nd. If you would like to send ahead for September, our theme is trees. So leaves, trees, I usually do fall, but I was trying to mix it up a little bit. <laughs> so I hope that you have fun and feel challenged. I cannot wait to see what you create um, with this theme for September. But right now, I can tell you that you guys have really killed it with this theme of fun folds in August. And I just cannot wait any longer to get started on these cards. First, though, I have to share, I have a few stragglers from July. Our theme was birthday, and there were a few cards that arrived after the last video, and that is never a problem. If your card arrives late, I will still share it, and I will still swap it. So don't worry, sometimes the postage system takes a little longer than we would like. I always say, you know, to send early, um, but if, if it comes late, I just don't want you to worry because it's going to be just fine. <laughs> so a few birthday cards to kick us off. This so this one is so cute from Lana Adlesna using a paper pumpkin kit. Oh my gosh, I love this. Speaking of paper pumpkin, let's see, today is August 8th. The last day to subscribe for the August kit is in two days on Thursday, August 10th. It's a flower one, like a wildflower one, and there's a free stamp set like a bonus little mini stamp set that's coming in this kit which is specifically a distinctive flower stamp set so if you're interested in paper pumpkin definitely make sure that you're subscribed by august 10th to get that kit love this little card it's okay but it's a little late um a lot i think it's just the cutest um i was looking at some cards i'd made with that one too and um, the little punch outs were so amazing. Oh my gosh, speaking of amazing, look at this one. Teresa Strickland sent this gorgeous card using the Cheerful Daisies bundle with the detailed die cuts layered on top of the solid daisies and the stamped centers. The colors here are so beautiful. Soft sea foam in the background, some mint macaron. A little um, tasteful textile white in the background behind the designer paper. I just think it is so stunning. And then the white embossed sentiment on the basic black is so beautiful. Let's see. She says, I cased my card from Akiko um, Sudano. So um, beautiful. Just beautiful, Teresa. Thank you so much for sharing it and sending that gorgeous card in. Oh, um, Next up, Julie Wilson sent this card. Let me open it up and see what's inside we've got the gingham embossing folder oh i love this one this is from the sentimental park die set and then on the inside a little stamping 
I love that. Oh, metal plate. Ooh, metal plate embossing folder. It kind of looks like the basket weave. I think I said gingham. <laughs> There's so many beautiful embossing folders, and it's such a beautiful way to add texture to your card. Our next one is from Kelly Macbeth. Um, hopefully I'm saying that right. Kelly's a first-time swapper. I love this card. We got bright and beautiful designer paper cut into little one-inch squares. And then, in, is this embossed? I think just stamped. Happy birthday from the Biggest Wish stamp set. I think this is just such a fun layout and a great way to show off coordinating designer paper. Azure Afternoon is the new blue that this card base is made from. So lovely. Oh, look at this one. Fresh Freeze is one of my favorite colors accidentally. <laughs> Julie Ward sent in this one. Um, you're an entire year more amazing and lovely as ever. Oh, I love that sentiment. Oh, and thank you so much for the birthday wishes. Amazing you is this stamp set. That's what I was trying to figure out. I think it was in the last, um, in the spring mini catalog that, um, I don't think it carried over. Such a great little set though. I love that. Um, all right, we've got now some fun fold cards for August, and I'm going to start with a new group of swappers, the Colorado Card Makers. I'm so excited to have a new group. In fact, I actually have two new groups of swappers um, this month, and Indiana, um, the Indiana Card Makers or Indiana Swappers, I received two cards, but I'm not sure if there's another one in your group coming, so leave a comment and let me know or send me a message. Um, I decided just to hold them until next time, just in case there were more, because I wasn't sure. But in this Colorado card maker group, we've got three lovely ladies. Can you tell what their theme was? The beautiful, delightfully eclectic designer paper. We've got this first card is from Mary Hansen. It is a double flat fold. Oh, look at that otter. And then a fun little pocket inside here that would be perfect for a little gift card. Such a great card. The middle one here is from Cindy Ewerts, and she's got a double flap card coming from either side. She says she cased this one from Connie Stewart, and oh, just uh, little embellishments there on the inside. I love that. I've made a similar card, but they were coming from the top and the bottom. I really love them coming from the side. That's really fun. And our last card is from Tina Lynch, and Tina, thanks so much for sending an extra one for me. She's got a note in here, and um, let's see what she says about this card design. I forget what this is called. I've actually made this one. She said, um, it's a pop-out gatefold card. Um, or it's also called a pop-out push-pull. Um, so fun to make. She says she cased her many, um, but is giving credit to Rachel Tessman. Um, so this is one I know I have a video tutorial for, and I will be sure to share that link in the video description. Um, quite a few of these I think I have tutorials for, and even if they didn't case me, I think the measurements are gonna be pretty similar. So watch for that list to be updated um, by uh, by the end of the night. I'll get it up tonight. <laughs> um, so awesome. I just love that beautiful. Oh, the Petal Park and the Sentimental Park. Those are so great, Tina. All right, girls. Thank you so much for those great cards. I'm so excited to hear about your stamping. Do you guys stamp together? Like, do you get on Zoom and stamp? Um, I think that's just so fantastic to stamp together, even when you're miles apart. And with Zoom and video chat, it just makes it so easy to do that. The next two cards are, um, I tried to organize these by similar card types. And so um, these are the next ones. And this is a fun card. Let's see. This one is from Marsha Bolt. And she says a double flap card. She's using the Reach for the Stars and Stargazing. Oh my gosh, I love that. So much fun. A little holographic paper there on the mask. And this one is from Linda Vanderspool. I think, I thought she had a note. Maybe it was on her other card. Um, well, I, I know I have a tutorial, a Sunday stamping video, I think, where mom shared a card like this. Um, I'm pretty sure. Now I have to got to double check. I know I've made one and now I'm trying to think about the video. Anyway, it's super easy. It is um, like a front flap and then like a mini card on the inside. So um, you can probably figure out some measurements, but it's just kind of fun to have like the extra flaps and so many extra places to add pictures and designer paper. 
So much fun. Thank you both for sending in those awesome cards. Next up, uh, we've got two diamond fold cards. And this is another one I've done and had so much fun. I think I used the Daisy Delight during celebration. Uh, this, uh, yeah, this is Joe Williams card. She says she was inspired by that video that I created. So I'll share that link to the video description. So much fun. And I, of course, was inspired by somebody else's swap card. I think it was Barb Hopper Price. Um, so that's just how we roll, right? <laughs> As crafters, we're always inspired by others. This one is so fun from Sharon Rowland using the gorgeously made designer paper or masterfully made designer paper. Um, I love the bright color here with the lemon lime twist. It's so pretty. This is such a fun card to make and it is really not that hard. So I hope that you'll check out the video. I'll add the link in the tutorial section of the uh, video description we're all done. Also a masterfully made card. This one's from Marilyn Kane and she's got some diamonds going on here. She said this is a full back fun card that she copied from Paper Crafting. Um, what does that say? With Lacey, I think if I'm reading that right. Um, oh, I just love this. In your words for the stamps and then some opal rounds. Isn't this paper gorgeous? This masterfully made designer paper. It's one of my favorite in the new catalog and I just think it is so beautiful. These are cut right from the designer paper. So awesome. Thank you so much, Marilyn, for sharing that awesome card. Here's one. That, they're all awesome. I think I'm just going to keep saying that word. Oh, over and over and over again tonight and I apologize in advance but there are just so many amazing awesome cards this one is from Maylu Cartwright she used the memories and more card pack come sail away um to create this accordion fold is that what you not accordion what would you call it like a um trifold I think that's what I would call it a trifold card so this is four and a quarter by six and a quarter because the card is a four by six card so I thought it was a great way to use those cards from the memories and more pack to make a really super awesome card all right our next couple cards are kind of diorama cards this first one is from Kathy Trebenbach and this is um a pop-up what do we what do we call it um, a surprise pop-up diorama. So it's flat. It's it's really kind of crazy. Um, it's flat and then you open it up and it pops open into a little diorama card. This is one I definitely have a tutorial for, so be sure to check that one out too. Um, I think I called it a surprise pop-up card because it or maybe a pop-up diorama because when you open it, the diorama kind of pops up really really cool and so beautiful with the flower and the bird i love that kathy uh both of these cards are from ross muncie and she has another version of a little pop-up diorama card um i don't know where she saw this tutorial but i think someone else sent in a card around christmas time and maybe it was rachel tessman um so fun with sort of these um sort of squares that fold flat and then it fits into a regular envelope but then you open it up and it kind of has this center diorama card really beautiful and so I get to pick one but I don't know how I don't know how because they're both so beautiful so we got this one here with the flowering water pot and the beautiful lattice which comes with came with the plentiful plants suite which is what this designer paper is so you let me know this or that which one of these two would you keep if you got to keep one and Ross thank you so much for sending one for me they are so beautiful and I am so excited to get to choose one Oh, you guys are just as split as I am. I can tell. I know. Well, whichever one I don't pick, I know someone is going to be so excited to get the other one. Uh, sort of in line with pop-ups, this is a fun card from Jean Schickman. She um, created this card. The background paper is made from... Oh, how cool! Is made from strips of designer paper. This is called... I think I called it a step. A stair step or... A, uh, a step out card um, and I've made one like this too so it folds flat fits in a regular envelope and then it kind of folds down and this doesn't necessarily stand very well on its own unless maybe you put like a little kickstand on the back but so beautiful I really love that designer paper technique with the different strips I'm gonna have to try that with all of my um, paper strips well I do have a tutorial for this one too so be sure to check the video description I'll add it 
uh, when we're all done tonight. Jean, thank you so much for that fun card. Uh, the next couple I grouped together because they kind of have a similar uh, a similar fold. This first one is from Judy K. Meek, and it's a little side flap, and then it opens up in the in the center um, with a top flap. So it's kind of fun, like a, a fl flap one way and then a flap the other way. And this is one of my favorite papers of all time. Um, Whale of a Time or Whale Den. I don't remember which it was called, but it was just so cute. And I love how it creates a scene. So Judy, well done on this card. Uh oh, we lost a little. Oh, let's get a little dab of glue on there. A little um, sequin. I'll set it aside so it can dry. Sometimes things fall off in the mail. Uh-oh, you know what? I see the other one down here. I see where it was supposed to go. <laughs> Sometimes the mail is rough. Even when you mark things non-machinable, there was another card, and I'm, we'll get to it, I'm, I know. Um, it got pretty beat up in the mail this time. All right, so beautiful. I'm gonna set that aside to dry. And um, the similar card that I paired it with is from Leah Nelson, and it has a double kind of opening. So it opens at the top, and then it has a gate fold on the inside. So this is like a whole sheet of cardstock with little pieces cut out um, on the top side. So it feels like frost is the designer paper here. So beautiful, perfect plum for the card base. That's a blast from the past. So beautiful. I love this paper. We have a another photorealistic paper coming up in the new September through December catalog. It's something autumn, um, but it has like these sort of photo images on one side and the beautiful textures on the other side. Do you guys like that kind of paper? Yay or nay on photorealistic designer paper. I really loved this one because I thought it, you didn't need a whole lot to put on the card, just a sentiment. And so turning this into a phone fold is just such a great way to showcase that awesome designer paper. All right, next up, we've got some other cards that kind of have some double flaps going on. Um, and so even though they're not all exactly the same, I still, um, I still put them together because they were similar in their concept. So this first one is from Joan Talent. She says she cased this design from Don Griffith, and it has a little front flap that that tucks underneath the square, best day ever, and then it opens up again. So it's kind of like a tri-fold sort of with the extra flap. Happy birthday is from The Biggest Wish, and then we've got the Let's Go Fishing bundle with the designer paper. What a fun card. I love all those extra little flaps. It just makes it so special. Uh, another one with some extra flaps is from Michelle Bunt, and we have a card piece that opens in the front, and then a little Z fold that comes out and reveals the inside of the card. So some extra folds just kind of makes it super fun. I really love that. So a Z fold card with a little mini card in the middle and then the designer paper that kind of comes out from that flap. Awesome. Here's one from Cindy Kittner. And this is another sort of double flap with one on each side. This is the beautiful fresh as a daisy designer paper. And then we've got some glitter paper. I think this is from the glitter, the blue, blue and pink glitter paper. I love this sort of watercolor wash with the wishing you the best year yacht and the little brass butterfly. So cute. Um, oh, we got a card recipe on here. Um, let's see, Cindy says this is her go-to fun fold whenever she needs a special card. The flap could also go on the opposite side if you want to open from the right. So here are her measurements in case you want to do a screenshot. Thank you so much, Cindy, for including those measurements and for sharing such a beautiful card. All right, if that wasn't long enough, then you come back and watch on the replay and give it a pause or take a screenshot or whatever you need to do. <laughs> All right, next up is from Anne Schillinger. And so again, we've got sort of like a gatefold card, kind of. We've got the little flap here and then this other flap is tucked underneath um, the white cardstock that is in on the inside. Fresh as a daisy designer paper, again, so beautiful. And then the circle sayings stamp set here, which coordinates with the two and three eighths inch circle punch. I love that same stamp set, circle sayings here with the um, countryside and designer paper. This one's from Patty Snyder, and we've got another sort of double fold. So we've got the flap that comes out from the card base, and then sort of a mini card on the inside that um, sort of has that one go inside of it, and then it folds over. 
Oh, so fun. I love the little cupcake all um, put up on Stampin' Dimensionals and the rhinestones in between the celebrate are just the perfect little embellishment for this card. Awesome card, Patty. Thank you so much for sending it in. Here's one from Debbie Lindauer, and she's using the He's the Man designer paper, retired now. Little texture here with the evergreen forest and a splatter from one of the mini folders. This little die cut comes from that He's the Man designer paper. And so just another, again, sort of like a mini card on the inside and a flap that comes up and sort of goes in between the card. I love that. So you can kind of play around with measurements, whatever fits your designer paper and images to create the same kind of fun fold. One last here that has sort of, does this one tuck in? Oh, not quite. Uh, that has sort of a double flap. So we've got this one that's attached to the front and then a little flap that goes behind the white on the inside. This beautiful card is from Shella Sams. She used the Countryside Inn designer paper and the Layering Leaves stamp set. I love this. This flower is from the Lasting Joy stamp set, which coordinates with the Countryside Inn Suite. This one is fun. Elise was helping me today um, to open up all the cards, and I think she had trouble putting this one back together, but I recognize it because I've made this one before, too. This is from Pamela Killo. Killo? Hopefully I'm saying that right. Um, Pamela, this is an interlocking frame card. So it has a frame on the outside, and then the inside piece is glued to one side, and the frame is glued to the other side, so they interlock to close the card. It's a simple gatefold card with those interlocking frames glued on opposite sides that fit together to close the card. Really cool, huh? I've got a link. Or I will add the link in the video description to this interlocking gatefold card. So if you haven't seen this before, you can check it out. This one is so beautiful with the cheerful daisies bundle, the basics 3D embossing folder. That texture really pops against this blue misty moonlight, flirty flamingo, and some petal pink. So gorgeous. I love this combination. Our next two cards have a similar diagonal fold, and this is another one that I've done recently. I think it was the summer, Sunday Stamping Bright and Beautiful. Our first one is from Carmen Melendez, and she's used the Le Shop designer paper to put a different shop on each panel. The embossed background is done with a brick embossing folder, and then the little sort of, uh, I guess, brick street is also part of the designer paper. All these little pieces cut from designer paper or the dies in the Let's Go Shopping stamp set. Oh my gosh, so fun. I love how it has an angle and then kind of folds up and you can see a little bit of all of those. The next card uses a very similar layout with the angles, maybe a slightly different angle. Uh, these are the measurements that I used and this card comes from Ginny Pender. She said she used Ballet Blue cardstock, which is a blast from the past. How many of you still have Ballet Blue? That is an old color from like 20 years ago. I love it. It goes well with this gingham paper. And then we've got the stamped flip flops. So cute with that ice cream designer paper. Such a fun way to show off coordinating images. Love it, love it, love it. Jenny, thank you so much for trying that out and sharing it with us. The next two cards are pop up gift card, um, pop-up pocket cards. This first one is from Ann Hansen. And so you can see when you open up that top flap, so it kind of starts as a gatefold. So we got a bigger piece here and a smaller one there. And then there is a piece on the inside, a piece of cardstock or designer paper that is folded to create a pocket and has a little lip that glues to the top so that when you open it, it pulls that pocket up with it. So fun. I've got a tutorial for this one too, so be sure to check the link. Um, and a little, a little note from Anne. I'll stick that back in there for whoever gets her awesome card. This is the uh, Fresh as a Daisy designer paper. This is the same layout with the pop-up pocket card. This one's from Eileen Curry. And I'm going to just slide off her, her ribbon there. She's using the new um, Trucking Along stamp set bundle that punches on back order, but it is coming back. Um, so if you want to get the stamp set, you can always fussy cut your images. Uh, and then the Inked Botanical designer paper. It was so fun. Here's the same little pop-up card. Eileen says that she was inspired by Jackie Bullheis. Um, and this little pocket can hold either a gift card or cash or a little note or a lottery ticket or whatever you want that's flat that would fit perfectly in this little 
in this little pocket. So fun. Let me get that string back on. Such a fun way to give a little extra something in your card. I love, love, love them. Thank you both for sharing that fun fold. We have some more cards. I'm trying to think. I um, This one I think goes with kind of that one. Okay, again, I tried to group these together, but they're not all the same. Our first one is from Joanne Prosser. She's used the Exploring in Color Paper Pumpkin Kit, or at least the cards, to create this amazing little Z Fold card. So it is a Z Fold, doot, doot, doot. And on the small flap of the Z, we have a longer panel. And when you open it up, you are matched up with the panel on the inside that are from the same card piece. Oh my gosh, that is so much fun. I love it here on the Mossy Meadow. This would be such a great card and whoever gets it is gonna be so excited to see it. Um, all of these cards sort of have the same kind of panels like this one from Anna Rebidou, where it sort of just has, I guess this is more like a trifold. Using the um, hay, uh, no, um, Irresistible Blooms and Hay Irresistible. Is that the name of this, the designer paper? Um, so fun with these beautiful colors. Um, this one is from Lori Watucky and she used an older Daisy stamp set and designer paper that we had in the catalog before. This is Wisteria Wonder. Oh my gosh, do you remember that purple color? So again, we sort of have a trifold kind of here uh, with a little angle on that front trifold and a belly band. Do you guys make belly bands for your cards? So good for cards like this where you kind of want to hold those pieces together. And this daisy is just the bomb. I love that. Um, let's see what this one is from Rose Spivey. And it is kind of a trifold as well. She said she cased this card from Dina Recal and used the um, Art in Bloom and Punch Party. I think the Art in Bloom is the designer paper. Um, so fun. I love that little scallop border too. So another little kind of trifold card, a great way to show off designer paper. Um, the next two cards have more of like a, a flap on flap. I don't, <laughs> I don't know how to describe them. Another belly band. Um, sometimes they're a little tricky to put on. Um, but they do kind of hold the card together nicely. This one is from um, Jenny Oliver, and she used Berry Burst and used some stamps from the Petal Park stamp set. And I, I made a card similar to this, so I'll add the link in the video description. It kind of has like a, I called it a, a double fold back card because you have two flaps that kind of fold back. And do you recognize this designer paper? Probably not because it is homemade. That's right. Jenny stamped this designer paper. I say designer paper. She stamped these images to create her own designer paper. And I think it is just so beautiful. We've got berry burst, shaded spruce, blueberry bushel, some gorgeous grape in there, daffodil delight and crushed curry. So pretty. Doesn't it look like designer paper though? You did such a nice job, Jenny. I love the way everything lines up. And I think these colors together, pretty peacock, not shaded spruce. Um, I recognize the cardstock up front. Um, so beautiful. I think the colors are just stunning. Uh, a very similar card over here. This one is from Riza Zillion. And she said she cased this card from Karen Titus, another belly band. This one with a tree die cut. And then we've got kind of um, an extended Z fold. So it kind of, it did have a little fold back, but then it kind of comes out counter blessings with this um, designer paper. Oh, I'm, I'm forgetting the name of it. It was just in um, the spring mini catalog. So pretty. I love that. And then I think the belly band just adds such a beautiful touch with the die cut trees that kind of just line up and coordinate with that paper so well. Oh my goodness. We've got more. Each card is just so fun and beautiful. And I just can't get enough. You guys knocked it out of the park. Our next card is from Deborah Davis. It has this beautiful little um, framed flap in the front. Some 3D basics embossing folder, bright and beautiful designer paper. Framed florets is the, um, the dies that have this beautiful frame. A little window sheet, a little acetate there. Um, and then on the inside, uh, oh my gosh, I forgot about this. Yes! 
three little pop-up strips. You are amazing. Die cut several times to kind of create some dimension. And then again, these will fold flat. Can you see that? They fold flat when it's closed and they open up. So kind of the key to that is having um, a, a panel of it, a, a tab rather, that is attached to the front of the card, and then some, some folding and some depth here. So when the card is closed, it's flat, and when it opens up, um, just kind of a simple general way to do a pop-up. Really beautiful. Oh my goodness gracious, Risa, you've just outdone yourself. So beautiful. Oh, this one is pretty. So nice. Cecilia Jerry used the Countryside Inn designer paper to create this awesome sort of diamond fun fold. It folds out. We've seen this one before. I don't remember what it's called. Um, she says she likes this because it shows both sides of the designer paper. So it is um, a long piece and the the corners here are cut from this side and then she's just glued them down to reuse them. So what was cut off here is then turned over and glued here so you kind of get um, that fun diamond and I just think that is so dynamic and fun to showcase the designer paper that way. I love it Cecilia. Oh my gosh, I've never seen anything like this one in my life. <laughs> this is from Sharon uh, Boynton. She is a first time swapper. She said she saw Lisa Curcio make this card and thought it was unique. Um, not hard, but you need to watch which way the pattern is going and using pattern cardstock. Uh, she has I ha upside down. Um, Oh, she had upside down birds on her first try. I was trying to read that word. I'm sorry. Look at this. What? So it kind of accordions out like that. It folds super flat. This is the Texture Chic Designer Paper. Have you seen anything like that? That is so amazing. I can tell that the paper kind of has like, um, I'm trying to figure out how it fits together. It looks like kind of like slits and it fits um, in each other. I don't know. Just so, so amazing. So beautiful. Making great use of the, the bone folder there. Thank you so much, Sharon, for sharing that one and really wowing, <laughs> wowing us. Um, okay, our next sort of uh, set of cards are all some kind of variation on an easel card. And if you're not familiar with an easel card, um, the, the, um, the way an easel card works is there is some element that folds up from the front, and then there's an element on the inside that's on Stampin' Dimensionals that will hold up part of that, um, that front. So it kind of props it up in, like an easel. This one is from Leslie Kneisel, and um, I think she's got a blog post here. She says she saw this from Taffy Crafting Blog, and I believe we have some measurements in case you want to do a little screenshot. Thank you so much, Leslie, for sharing, for sharing that in case someone wants to recreate this easel card at home. What fun. There are lots of different ways that you can create an easel card, and the main element of the easel card is that thing on dimensionals that holds the front piece up. So we've seen diagonal easel cards. We've seen, um, well, we're about to see a double easel card. This one is so fun from Janet Sidaway, and she has a double easel card. So we have like, um, let me, sh let me kind of show you. We have, um, uh, okay, so the, the regular card base, the front of it is scored in half, and then on that half is a card front that's a full length piece. So when the card is shut, you see that card front. And then when you open it up, it has a little place to rest. Remember we talked about the something on Stampin' Dimensionals or some something that has a little dimension to catch it. And then this one has a double easel. So the little one here inside has a little piece to stick up on and then the big one sticks up on the little one so a double easel card featuring the cherry builder punch and the cherry on top stamp set i think that's the name of it oh my gosh it's so cute i love this designer paper we've got shiny cherries too i'm guessing that's like packing tape over the card stack and then punched i think this is just such a sweet little card I absolutely love it. And now I want to try a double easel card. Thank you, Janet, for that inspiration. Another variation on an easel card is the bay window card. This is one that mom shared in a recent episode of Sunday Stamping with Susan and Julie. I think it was Rachel Tessman um, that originally she saw the uh, measurements from, but I've seen it 
um, several times over the last year or two. Mary Fudge made this version using the Earth and Elegance Suite, the designer paper, and the beautiful bundle with the die cuts. And she said this, uh, what is it, my, my first fun fold? Yay! <laughs> I hope that you will make many more fun folds, Mary, because you did such a great job. This card is awesome. I know whoever gets it is going to be so happy um, when they when they see it in the mail. All right, another sort of variation on the easel card. This one is from Kristen Vicente, and this has a, again, kind of a score in the middle, so a regular card front with a score in the middle, and this card front is going to catch on the embossed piece that's on Stampin' Dimensionals, and then the center piece is kind of on, like, a tab, um, one tab fitting under the designer paper there and one tab fitting under the designer, designer paper there so that that piece can be um, kind of highlighted and spotlighted when everything is um, all set. So really such a fun card. And this paper color combination is awesome. Delightfully eclectic designer paper with the X's. We've got the tile um, embossing folder here and then berry burst and bubble bath. Oh, I love that. I think this is the inked botanicals, inked and tiled, um, stamps up for the sentiment, and then um, that die cut could be a, a couple different things. Such a great card. I love it. Thank you so much, um, Christine, for sending in that awesome card. All right, our next few are... Um, I'm going to do that one last. Z fold cards. So the Z fold is where you have a card base and you score it in half and you fold it back. Okay, so you can see doo, 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 Z fold. So this one from Jeanne Waters, um, she is using a little piece on the front to kind of come out across, but we still have just the basic Z fold going on there. This is the um, Hello Irresistible designer paper. So beautiful with the petal pink and a little flirty flamingo in there too. Just gorgeous. <laughs> My pup is up and about. I think she needs to go outside. Here's another Z fold from Kathy Cornea. And again, you can see the Z fold there. So she's got a little piece on the front that comes out using the countryside corners. Um, and the country, yeah, countryside corner dies. Um, so fun. I love it. And then the lasting joy stamp set there. Baja Noboho Blue, Night of Navy, Lemon Lolly. Um, some new colors that coordinate with the designer paper. I love that. So fun. And then I kind of moved the post-it so you can see a little stamping on the inside too that coordinates so nicely. Okay, once you get the basic Z fold down, you can do an extended Z fold. <laughs> this is like a triple Z fold <laughs> with an extra card um, that kind of covers some of the Z. So this one is from Terry Biggs and um, she created this fun cards. So this is going to take a longer than a normal card front and you get those extra little folds in there. Really, really fun. I love the way that extends out. A similar concept is the double Z, not the, yeah, the double Z fold card. This one is from Sue Hines and it has, I'm going to show you the sideways for a big Z, that's the card front, and then a smaller Z. And I've got a video with the measurements to show you this one, the double Z fold card. So you've got the skinnier one in the middle on top of the other one. She might have, nope, no measurements here. Uh, the Earthen Texture stamp set and the Earthen um, Elegance Designer Paper. So beautiful. I love this, especially the little detail of that die cut border put on the vase. Really, really beautiful. Okay, our next two cards. Oh, actually, this was like uh, another one. Let me pull that one out here. Okay, uh, so the first one here is from Rachel Chazinski, and she said this is called a, what did she call it? Hold on. We have a look at her notes. The Barn Door Fun Fold Card. She used the avant-garde stamp set from Celebration 2017, love it, um, and the sprinkles stamp set to create the background. Really beautiful. Double oval punch there uh, is a perfect way to embellish your card with a sentiment. Isn't that fun? I love that. Uh, and I was putting these together because I thought they were kind of the same, but these are both corner tuck cards. Um, this one is from Annette Funk, 
And um, she's used the Little Ladybug host stamp set from Celebration. So the idea here on both these cards, the corners just in opposite places, is that you have the front, um, a regular card front, four and a quarter by 11. You cut off half of the front and turn it to make this side piece. And then a piece of designer paper or another cardstock glued in the corner. And that is what this tucks into. Same concept here, except we've got designer paper instead of cardstock. This one is from Kathy Klukowitz. This is that, I think that hedgehog stamp set and the glorious gingham designer paper. So whether you have a top corner or a bottom corner, <laughs> the, co the corner tuck card is so fun. Um, and I do have a video on this one. I will add it to the very lengthy list of videos that will be coming in the video description. Okay, we've got lots more cards to share, so don't go anywhere. Let's see what is next. Oh, this is one I think that got killed in the um, the postal machine. This one is from Jennifer Crabtree. She said she was inspired by Brandy Cox, and it is like a center gatefold card. I think I actually have a tutorial that's similar to this one. So we have just a, a gatefold in the center with this um, Rings of Love designer paper. I love that. And then I like that flower. I don't recognize it. Um, so beautiful though the way you've colored it and a little copper window in there. So beautiful Jennifer and I'm sorry that the postage machine just crunched this card. Like I said sometimes it doesn't matter. You can put non-machinable on it. <sighs> and it still sometimes goes through the machine. So my advice always is if you have a non-machinable car to mark it non-machinable and to hand deliver if you can to a postal clerk. That usually is the gets the best result in making sure it doesn't get pummeled by the postage machines. Um, next up, I think this well, these couple were my gatefold cards, I guess. <laughs> so a gatefold card uh, is a card that kind of comes together with the two flaps meeting in the middle. This one is an off-center gatefold card. So we have um, the four and a quarter by 11, and it's scored so that the two sides meet in the middle. This one is from Marilyn Edens, and she's used the glorious gingham designer paper along with the trucking along um, stamp set bundle with the punch. So fun. Love the stitch circles there. Sending you sunny thoughts. Oh, that's one of my favorite sentiments in that stamp set. I can't wait to use that some more once it's back in stock. I think the punch is coming in October. If you can't wait that long, though, just go ahead and get the stamp set right now, uh, and the punch will be back soon. All right, another card from Anna Cuvas, and she's got a little um, accordion card in the front. I love these little candles. They are just strips of designer paper, and the flames are leaves from a flower set. I think the layering leaves flowering set. So happy to celebrate you. These colors are beautiful together. Poppy Parade, Berry Burst, Azure Afternoon Pumpkin Pie, and Granny Apple Green. I, let me see if there is a note in here. Uh, oh, just a little message for someone who might want to swap. So if you are sending in a swap card, make sure that you put your note on a loose note like this or a sticky note. We try to always leave the cards blank so that whoever gets your beautiful card can send it on and share it with somebody else. We've got two cards with this fun little box fold card from Karen Titus. This one's from Melly Turner. Oh my gosh, look at the little birthday chick on the inside. When you pull open this little pinwheel looking designer paper, you got such a fun surprise inside. And this is called a box fold just because you fold it back up like you do um, a box when you're kind of folding and sealing a box. So much fun. So we got Hey Birthday Chick over here and this one from Peg Herrick uses, um, oh what stamp set is this? The um, Pretty Perennials and let's see what's on the inside of the Country Corners designer paper. We've got the Circle Saying stamp set because you're awesome. So fun. I was just thinking I wanted to try this fold the other day. I think it is just super fun. Thank you both for sharing your amazing cards. Ooh, 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 Annette Crescetti sent in this gorgeous one with a Tropical Oasis designer paper. It's been a little while since I've made a card like this, but it is kind of a, a pop-up. I think there's a note in here that's preventing the fold. 
There we go. Look at that. Oh my gosh. The Rhino Ready stamp set and um, and dies. Tropical. Did I get it right? The designer paper. Tropical. I, yeah, I think Tropical Oasis. This is called a box card. And um, I've, I've made it in a slightly different size, but it's still the same sort of concept. It folds completely flat to fit in a regular envelope and then opens up to have this layered look with these flaps that have all the beautiful designs and sentiments on it. I've got a similar tutorial. Check out the link. I'll add that when we're all done in the, in the video description. Annette, thank you so much for this amazing fun fold card. I'm gonna slip this back inside if I can. <laughs> I don't want to lose you now. I'm gonna fold it one more time. There we go. Perfect. Oh, I love it. I love cards that fold and have this like beautiful thing that pops up. So cool. Our next card is from Rachel Chizinski and this is a designer paper flat fold. Wishing you happiness on your birthday. This might have actually been for July and came late or not. I'm not sure. Um, I don't know what this fun fold is car called. I made a similar one, so I'll have the link to the video description. I did it with the countryside corners um, designer paper, but essentially just a designer, a piece of designer paper that has a fold and folds over so you can see both sides and a hidden message inside. I love it. This one is called the pinwheel tower card. I haven't made one of these in a while, but it is super fun. Essentially, you've got four different pieces. So I guess let's start with the the, the tower in the middle is sort of just like a, um, a square, a rectangular prism of designer paper. And then each of these are panels that are glued to each side. It folds flat. And then when you open it up, you can kind of see those panels. It makes so much more sense when you see the video tutorials. So make sure to check that out. I'll add the link to the video description. This one is from Charlotte Nydigger, and she said she used the Countryside Inn designer paper and the paper pumpkin kit welcome in that coordinates. Just double checking her note here. Yep. So fun. I love that, Charlotte. Thank you for reminding us of this fun fold. I think it's time for me to give that a try again. This card is fun from Judy Albert. She said she copied this one from Connie Stewart. It's called the Impossible Card. And if you've not seen it before, you should definitely check out the video. I'll add my tutorial to the link in the video description. It's going to be a long list this month. Um, so the Impossible Card is made from one sheet that is cut and then turned and so this is all one piece of blue. Like, I know it doesn't seem like that, and that's what makes it the impossible card. The only additional piece is the stabilizing piece across here, and then, of course, the white pieces that are stamped on. This one uses the Darling Donkeys. So stinking cute. I just love that. Hee-haw. <laughs> Such a fun card. Thank you so much for sharing. Put this on the back. Judy, um, if you've not tried the impossible card, you definitely got to give that one a go. Oh, here's another Rhino Ready card. This one's from Leanne Nelson. This is the uh, Botanical Gardens designer paper little book binding card or book fold card. So we've got the front is scored um, at an inch or so. So it looks like kind of a bound book on the side. So fun. I love that. Oh, this one is fun too. I shared this last month when I was sharing birthday cards. This is from Nancy Bridges. And this is an, a die that Stampin' Up! used to have that does this little foot fold. So cool. So the die was this whole piece and it created the score lines and the cutting. So it, it doesn't cut all the way through. It just kind of cuts here to that score line and there. So I suppose if you had some fancy cutting, you could do something like that similar, but the die made it so fun. Flip flap card uh, with a cute little birthday piggy. It's so cute, Nancy. Thank you so much for sharing that one. And thank you for the extra one for me as well. All right, we've got some more cards. Here's a pinwheel fold. This is pretty from Carrie Zacharias using, um, oh my gosh, this paper. The name just went right in and out of my head. Oh, so awesome. So you start with a square of designer paper and you're cutting diagonally to the center. And then these pieces, I don't want to break your card, um, are just folded in from the corner every other to create the pinwheel. 
really easy and really cool. I love the way that she folded that paper to make this awesome card. Some of my favorite colors here, and we've got the gingham embossing folder in the background. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to hit the camera like that. Um, all right, this one is so fun. Zoo Crew from Cherith Day. We have kind of like a, it's not a bridge card, although I, I think it's a good description for the card because you have sort of a floating piece of the card that's out here and then the panels that bridge it together. You can see the inside of the card. I usually have done this with like um, the other way, a vertical card, but the fold is at the top and then there's a piece and a, a piece this way that's bridging it. I've not seen it done this way and I think it's really, really cool. And then, of course, the little characters and these scenes so fun wishes for a carefree day oh my gosh i love that Cherith, so fun i'm gonna have to try that fun fold these both use some diagonal cutting the first one from cindy bovitt um, has sort of another like double flat card so we've got a mini card that's inside this big card and the front of the card has been cut diagonally so a regular card front front cut diagonally and then a mini card on the inside that closes around that diagonal flap. Easy peasy, but it looks really cool. We got butterfly kisses going on here. That's the designer paper and the hello friend from the biggest wish. What a great card, Cindy. Thank you so much. Similar here with diagonals going on. We've got a card front. So um, actually, is this one big card piece? I think it might be. But I was thinking it could be that you cut off the center of the card and then attach it to the top somehow. I don't know. This is really cool. Let me show you the inside. Oh, that little mouse. You can see him from the front. Let's celebrate you. And then the full image with a happy birthday balloon. The designer paper there is to protect the inside piece and you can see why sometimes the postage machines are kind of rough and dark colored cardstock can often rub on the white cardstock inside your card so a little protective piece of designer paper like this will just protect that inside white layer from getting rubbed on uh, when the card goes through the postal machine two fun folds here that are similar this is the easy center step card we had a bunch shared last month during the birthday video um, and so i'll share the link again to the video tutorial so you can learn how to make this card um, it's a lot easier than doing all the fancy folding and cutting that we've done before with these fun side step and center step cards this one is from jana davis and she said she was inspired by susan campfield a little space on the back to write your message I did a card similar to this with the Whimsical Trees stamp set, and so I'll share that link in the video description for you to check out. So cute with the little hedgehog. This is the same card design. The measurements are just a little bit different. This is actually, so this is the easy version of the card with a, um, a zigzag and then a piece that comes from the front to the back. And this one is actually taking a full piece of cardstock and scoring and cutting. So that's all one piece that has the different cuts. This one is from Molly Burke. And she said um, that she was inspired by Kim Croker, who she saw the measurements for this fun fold. Ocean front stamped on the front. So beautiful. Sending warm rays your way. What a great sentiment for summertime. We have just a few, just a few beautiful cards left. We are nearing the end of our box of 72 cards that I have shared tonight. I hope that you feel so inspired. Uh, these next two cards, I'm not sure what these are called. I feel like I've even made a card like this before. Um, let's see, maybe it's got a name. Um, this is from Kathy Gailey. And she doesn't have a name for the fun fold. You guys know this one, though. It's like a stand-up accordion card, a stand-up um, tower card. I love it. Kind of just um, pops out like this. This is the Zoo Crew stamp set, Glorious Gingham. And then stamped background here. It really pops on this black. It is beautiful. Um, oh, Terry's saying, um, or uh, Terry and Beth Ann, I don't know which one is commenting. Um, she calls it the picnic table card. I love that name because that's what it looks like when it's sitting here, the picnic table card. Um, just so beautiful. Um, 
Yeah, I thought I did this card. I'll find the uh, the link to the video tutorial um, and include it for you. This one is just so beautiful with the little flowers. And this fun tag with the confetti comes from the brilliant or beautiful balloons. Um, is that what it's called? Uh, bundle from the bright and beautiful um, suite. This is just so precious. I love it. We've got exactly the same fold here. This card is from Polly Riggleman. Does she have a note? Nope. Um, this one using the timeless arrangements with all those beautiful die cut pieces and the rectangle. That image there is also from the Timeless Arrangements bundle. The designer paper here, that bright and beautiful with the balloons. So pretty. Some stamped images on the other side. Picnic table. I love that. <laughs> Picnic table card. Maria says the same thing. Okay, good. Well, I'm going to call it that from now on. I don't know what I called it in the video when I did it, but it is really too much fun. Okay, one last card for today. And this one is so super special that Janice Torgerson sent extra postage in a major way, just in case. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at that. Wow. This is like on the sides, like that box card that Annette sent with the tropical um, oasis and the rhinestones, but we also have a gatefold. So a gatefold double box card pop up. Wow. 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 <laughs> okay. I'm opening up. Let's see. A double pop up box bridge card um, is what Janice is calling it. Um, the geranium, so beautiful, the designer paper. And oh, what is that paper, the designer paper? Um, it's, it's just recent too. I have, um, I have instructions here from Jan B cards. Um, this is Janice's, um, handwriting. She hand, hand wrote these and photocopied them. And I, I'm going to pause on this in case you want to screenshot. You might need to zoom in a little bit to see, but whoever gets this card is going to have the instructions with it. Janice, thank you so much for sharing um, those instructions. And if you're watching at home, check out Jan B, um, August 2023 um, is when she posted that one. Uh, she followed design from Iced Images Cards Double Pop-Up Box Bridge Card from March 6, 2020. But Jan changed the measurements to fit a U.S. envelope. Oh my goodness, this maybe was an intimidating way to end our <laughs> intimidating card to end our video on, but wow, what a pop-up. And it did, in case you didn't see that, fold flat more or less so, <laughs> to fit into a regular ML. That is so special. Thank you to everybody who sent in cards to the great big card swap this month. They were all amazing, and I know I feel so inspired. Thank you to everybody watching for leaving comments and encouraging our swappers. If you haven't yet, I hope that you'll consider participating in the great big card swap. It's super easy. Just send your card in to Julie Davison, P.O. Box 6164. Champaign, Illinois, 61826. You can include a loose postage stamp. Use a non-machinable postage stamp if your card requires extra postage so I can send it on um, to somebody else. Everyone who sends in a card gets one back. I share all the cards that I receive in the Great Big Card Swap Showcase, which happens every second and fourth Tuesday of the month. Our next Card Swap video showcase will be on Tuesday, August 22nd in two weeks. So be sure to share your fun fold cards and get them sent in the mail. If you want to work ahead for September, the theme is trees. I can't wait to see what you come up with. If you enjoyed all the card ideas that I shared today, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and make sure that you subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on future card making videos like Thursday Night Stamp Therapy and Sunday Stamping with Susan and Julie. I will see you next time. Thank you so much for tuning in tonight. Bye.